Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jacob and this is Last Stop Waterfowl Outdoors. Well guys, today, welcome back to the channel. We're back on the road again. We are on the I-10, Interstate 10 bridge headed towards our camp over at Sherburn Wildlife Management Area. And we got the whole crew with us this week. So we got Jackson, who's gonna have his driver's license here in January, he got his permit, so he's on the wheel taking us to the camp we got hudson in the back seat back here hey guys. and we got jackson's friend uh brayden with us he's in the back and uh we're gonna do some hunting tomorrow man we're looking forward to it had to work today so we didn't get to make a hunt today but we kind of splitting up the group so me and hudson's gonna go and make a squirrel hunt in the morning we're gonna take you guys along with us just like we did last week for opening weekend and jackson you and b are gonna be doing some deer hunting tomorrow so what y'all plans for tomorrow split up a little bit go to two different type of areas kind of in the same area but like just kind of go our separate ways just see cover both areas to see what happens but uh, we, uh we're gonna make a little bow hunt tomorrow while we'll go squirrel hunt so a little bow hunt for them for them in the morning um and i think it's only bucks right now is that correct so it's only bucks right now for both season here for the first 15 days in Louisiana. So they're gonna go try their luck, see if they can maybe get a deer tomorrow or a pig. And me and Hudson's gonna be back at it in the woods looking for some squirrels in the morning. Temperature's been really nice this week. Should be about 59 to 60 degrees in the morning according to what the weatherman's saying. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna take y'all along with us and see what our adventure brings tomorrow. That's a good start to the morning right here, guys. That's a big, beautiful fox squirrel. We watched him for a little while. I kind of tracked him, and then he stopped moving. I don't think he saw us. He just kind of stopped moving. And then all of a sudden, after about 10 minutes, I seen him kind of move up the branch. He came a little bit toward me. He was trying to get up in the top of a tree and feed on these acorns. We're in a big acorn flat right here. And these squirrels are eating on these acorns in here. We saw another fox not too far over, so hopefully we can pick up another one. But it's a good start to the morning.
We got you, ass. You you hit right on him. Huh? Come on, put your gun on safety. You hit him. The first shot you hit him. Yeah, he moved. He like did some crap and moved. Come on. No, that was you. No, that was you. Okay, everybody, we just got this. We just got this one. So we just got this. This nice one. That's thick tail. It's a male. And he's pretty messed up. But, so, I was sitting on the stool, and my dad was walking around, and he shot, like, six times to, like, get this, to get this one, and then he just wouldn't, the one would, this one wouldn't fall. And so, he, I guess he missed him, I don't know. He might have, like, backed him up or something. I don't think he did. So, I was creeping that squirrel. That's what was happening. And I shot him, thought I had a decent shot on him. And I shot, and he freaking flipped out the tree, hit the ground, and he ran toward me. So I'm trying to shoot him on the ground while I'm shooting behind him. And he jumps on the tree, and I'm trying to load my gun, grab shells out of my pocket. So as I'm doing that, he's five foot from me looking at me, and he goes straight up the tree trunk and starts hiding, just like those fox squirrels like to do. So Hut heard me shoot. He comes over, and I told him, I said, there's a, there's a fox in this tree. But we couldn't, I couldn't get him to uh, move. So he comes, walks around the tree, and I tell him, I say, hey, shoot up in that tree. He's at the top, I think. Well, Hutch shoots. Squirrel flips. He must have hit him and flipped him off of whatever little branch he was on. And when he flips, he gets into the top of this vine that's up in the top. He's just kind of hung. Well, I shoot him at that point to knock him down, and here we go. We got him. So that's technically... Hut squirrel, because he shot that squirrel right there. So I'm proud of you, buddy. Right here. Uh, yeah. We're so thinking, we're thinking that I shot, that my dad shot yeah, right here. You shot him up in the front, the yeah, original I shot, shot. I shot him right here. And then, because whenever he flipped, he like grabbed a, a limb. And then my he dad. He fell into a limb. Yeah, he fell into like a limb. Like he got hung up. Yeah, and then my dad shot him. Like he was like turned around and my dad shot him. So we're thinking I shot him in the front and my dad shot him in the, in the back. <laughs> yeah, I just knocked him out the tree. You killed, you shot him and he got hung up. So, so that was pretty cool. We had to work for that squirrel. We shot about six or seven shots at him. So those fox squirrels, man, they are tough. Whenever they get to hiding, they pretty tough. So that was cool. So pretty cool. Proud of my boy right here. High five again. He's on the board, boys. He is on the board. So that's number two this morning. We go we got another big fox guys i looked to my left right after me and hudson separated he went back to his seat to sit and i looked to my left and that sucker came down a limb right next to me so that was pretty cool another lot of a lot of uh fox squirrels in this area couldn't go i couldn't spit it out but i'm in a good area with some acorns and they got a good bit of cuttings. So they're not moving great this morning with the moon at night. But picking up a few. Picking them off here and there. So we're going to keep at it. But that's number three for the morning right there. Okay. 
okay, everybody. We just wrapped up the death camp. I think we did pretty good. We ended up with three foxes. Um, we got in our first one. We killed it. It was feeding in a tree, and then we kind of went on from there. Our second one was the one that I shot. Um, it was my dad actually saw it, and then it ran up the tree. So we ended up having to shoot the tree, and then I killed it. I ended up hitting it, and then our. I actually had another opportunity to shoot one, but I ended up missing. It was running up a tree, and I ended up missing it on the run. And we ended up getting this third one, and I think it was pretty big. I think we did pretty good uh, throughout the hunt. I I like it. I like our three big squirrel. fox squirrels. We killed three big fox squirrels this morning, man. So I'm glad to see that the size we got today. They didn't really move a whole lot. Uh, as well as I was hoping they would move this morning, would have been a little cooler hut. Mm -hmm. uh, the sun, you know, sunny day like that. A lot of times they'll move, but we have a, a, a half moon that's pretty bright at night. It's been clear, and I think a lot of those squirrels right now are feeding at nighttime. The reports that I had from one of my good friends, he hunted yesterday. He said the same thing. They only had two, and he said they just didn't move real well. So I don't know if they're just not moving real well because of the moon. But I tell you what, I will take. Three of those big school buses that y'all see right there any day of the week, right, Hut? Yeah. And Hut got him one today. He ended up smoking one out of the tree, one of those big foxes. So that was pretty awesome for him to get that. That was pretty cool to kill, huh? Kill one like that, huh? Yeah, I think it, it was cool because it's kind of like what happened when my dad killed that cat girl uh, last you, week. Yeah, you just put a shot up yeah. in the tree and yeah. got lucky and it fell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we had that happen two weeks in a row where we had one up in a tree that we knew was in the tree, and then we ended up, you know, having to kind of shoot into the tree, and when Hutch shot this morning, the damn squirrel fell. He flipped it out, and it fell into like a vine or something, like some kind of branch, so I ended up shooting it to get it down. I didn't want to get it caught. I wanted to make sure he got that squirrel, so that was uh, that was an awesome, pretty way, cool way to get it, so... Good hunt today, guys. Uh, we had a lot of fun. You had fun this morning. I know you had a good time. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. We, he wanted to stay home this weekend, but I got him to come to the camp. I said, we got to go get you another squirrel. Got you probably the biggest squirrel ever right there today. One of the biggest squirrels that we killed this year. And uh, just a lot of fun with his brand new shotgun that Paw Paw bought him just mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. So Paw Paw got a text message this morning early. He's excited. He's fired up that he got one with his new gun. So uh, just a lot of fun, guys. And we were, we're glad to take you guys along with us, even though we didn't kill a bunch of them this morning. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we would appreciate it. Hudson would appreciate the subscribe. I know I'll, I'll, I'll say that he'll appreciate it. So you guys will subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. But anyway, guys, this is Jacob and Hudson with Last Stop Waterfowl Outdoors. Thank y'all so much for coming along with us on this hunt today. And stay tuned for more. We got a lot more coming during this hunting season, guys. Talk to y'all again soon.